I am very thankful to God. We have come to a, a <coughs> new subject to learn. It is very important. That is not that. What does that mean? It is uh, a continued thought on my last week. Uh, the main part of my teaching last week was uh, John chapter 11 verse 26. John chapter 11 verse 26. Jesus said, living and believing and in me never die. Okay? Three things if you done while you are living and believing and in Jesus Christ, you will never die. That's the thought. Continue. That's how I come up with this subject. Death is not dead. Because Jesus said, we will never die. That means always living. If you living and believing and in Jesus Christ, you will never die. Uh, let me make it very clear. <clears throat> Our God is the God of the living not of the dead. That's why nobody can be dead. Because God is everybody's God. You believe or you not believe, God is still your God. The thing is, you will never die. Even if you want to die, you still cannot die. God will not let you die. <coughs> So what's all this debt in sin, debt mean? Today we want to uh, learn what says in the Bible. Okay, what says in the Bible? It's very, very important about what says in the Bible. Because according to Revelation chapter 20 verse 6, we people in the church of Christ, are kings with Christ on this earth. By announcing the message in the Bible, we rule with Christ for a thousand years. That's what the thousand year kingdom means in Revelation chapter 20, verse 6. And you want to pay good attention to it because all the European people never understand this one. They thought, they've been thinking all these 1,500 years that Jesus will come, come back on earth to establish a thousand kingdom as himself, the king. That's why when that thousand kingdom is established on earth, no people in this earth will commit sin because God, uh, Jesus Christ Himself is the King. He can be everywhere all the time watching everybody, nobody dare to commit sin. That's why they call thousand year kingdom. In that kingdom, no one commit sin. No one think evil. And they say they're expecting for that. But it's false. Today, we also learn that one also. But don't expect American people to understand that. They never understand. They, because they don't want to understand. They don't need to understand. They are having a good time in their life. But today, we learn this first. God is God of the living, not the dead. Either you believe or you not believe. You have to live. You cannot die. Jesus said, you see, the living and the believing and in me will never die. You see, Jesus said. So if you can die, you make Jesus work void. Okay? And that's not good. That's another serious sin. Main scripture for this study is John 8, 20 to 24. This word spoken 
he, when he was in the treasury area, in the <coughs> uh, temple, as he took, uh, as he taught in the temple, and no man took him, because his hour was not yet come. Jesus has his own time, his own timing to live on earth and where to live, where to preach. Jesus has own, his own schedule and his time is not there so nobody can take him and kill him of course. They were trying all the time to kill him. He said therefore again unto them, I will go away and you will seek me. And you shall die in your sin. He said, you will die in your sin. And shall die in your sin. Whither I go, you cannot come. Those Jewish people do not understand. And they say, the Jews therefore said, will he kill himself, commit suicide? That he said, whither I go, you cannot come. He is going somewhere. These people cannot go because they will, because they will go to a different place. There's two destination: lake of fire or heaven, where God is living. If you are living and believing, and you are in Jesus Christ, you will never die. What's the telling? You, all the people in the world, either forever living with God or forever living with Satan in a lake of fire. That is Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. By the grace of God, I remember all this scripture. I'm announcing and sharing what says in the Bible. And this is the way we rule with Christ for a thousand years. Because when we preach, we don't preach what we want to say. We preach what we are inspired from the scripture and present it to you. So these Jews do not understand. And they say, is he going to kill himself? Is he going to commit suicide? Of course, we will not go to suicide. And he said unto them, you are from belief. I am from the above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, that you shall die in your sin. You see, all this die in your sin, die in your sin. For except you believe that I am, I am what? You see, at that time, everybody understand. In Jesus' time, everyone understand. It does not need to spell out. Today, we need to spell out, uh, I am, I am what, I am who, okay? I am the Christ, the Son of the living God. Yeah? Unless, except you believe that I am the Son of the living God, I am the Christ who is supposed to come at this time. Unless you believe that, she except you believe that I am the Christ who is supposed to come at this time. You shall die in your sin. You see? Die in your sin. Die in your sin. Then, what is that not that mean? What is living forever mean? What is never die mean? It says, die in your sin, die in your sin, die in your sin. Okay? But what is never die mean? Today, we will figure that out. For every living soul belongs to me. The Father as well as the Son, both alike belong to me. The soul who sin is the one who will die. Is the soul who sin the one who will die. It said die again, die, die, die again. Like every day, lots of people driving on LIE. Okay? Lie. They, they, they lie all the time. But here it said die, die, die all the time. Then it said, you will live forever, you never die. Uh, look like very confusion. But all the soul belong to God. Good or bad, belong to God. And then the soul that sin is the one who will die. What's that die mean? 
And here we, say, we have Hebrews chapter 9, 27. It is appointed unto man once to die. You have D-I-E again, die. But after this, judgment, you see, not die. It said you die, but after you after die, then you have judgment. You're judging a dead person? It's not that. You're judging a living, a living person, okay? <clears throat> and then this number one. Okay? You die your sin, die your sin, you face judgment. After you are that after you are dead, you face judgment. Or die dead, okay? But it said, if you be living, believing in me, never die. What's that mean? Okay? Now it's the second one. The dead are talking. It does not make sense in the world. We're talking about the dead is talking. You mean ghost talking? Okay. But here we have the scripture over here. And it came to pass that the beggar Lazarus died, you see, died. And that he was carried away by angels. Not one angel, it's angels. Into Abraham Bruiser. You see, he's not dead. But he said he died. And the angel, angels carry him to Ab uh, Abraham Bruiser. Okay? Not dead. Or you can say carry the dead body. They're not like that. The dead body is in the tomb. Okay? <coughs> and the rich man also died. And here we have it. He buried. He was buried. Be in torment. See? He was buried but still alive. In torment. Okay? He was suffering in Hades. Okay? Uh, but he was he was dead. He died and buried in the tomb. But it continued, it does not finish. It continues and he is suffering in torment in Hades. Okay? If you are in the church of Christ for a long time, then you know we have spirit and soul and body. So you can divide that way. They will know the body, dead body is decaying in the tomb. But the soul, why does the soul need to be carried? Does the soul have any kind of weight? I, I, I never have uh, something to weight the soul. <clears throat> Okay, the rich man also died and was buried, being in torment. He was living. Okay, just the point is he's suffering. He was enjoying his wealth. He was enjoying his physical life. But now, he is suffering in Hades. He lifted up his eyes and see Abraham are far off and Lazarus in his bosom. You see, he can see and he can talk and he shouted out Father Abraham take pity on me send Lazarus to dip his finger in the water to cool my tongue he, now he is a beggar he begged for a drop of water he is suffering that describes what kind of suffering he is suffering he is talking the point is after he was dead after he was buried and in Hades, what is in the Hades? Okay, according to what we can reason is the spirit returned to God, the body in the tomb, what's left? The soul in Hades. You can say that way, but not exactly. Today we have figured out not exactly because it takes a body to do the talking, not the soul. You don't hear any soul talking. Okay? Here is the body talking. Now, this is number two. Dead, the dead are talking to each other. Okay? Now, number three. <clears throat> that are in the tomb shall hear, you see, his voice. The voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. L-O-R-D. Okay? The voice of the Lord. They can hear. They mean that. In the tomb, those people are not dead. They because they can still listen. They can still hear the voice of the Lord. 
But the point is, they hear only the voice of the Lord, not my voice. I wish, okay, my voice will have that kind of effect. effect. Marvel not at this, for the hour comes in which all that are in the tombs, all the people in tomb, that means like good or bad, safe or unsafe, all the people that are in the tomb, all the dead body in the tomb, shall hear his voice, H-E-A-R, hear, listen, okay, able to hear his voice, and also come out. It takes a body to do that. A soul you just suddenly somewhere. But you cannot see. Only a body can literally be buried, resurrected, and come up with some kind of substance. Okay? And then it says, they that have done good, if you have behaved, if you behave and listen, okay, especially children, remember, if you behave and listen, you are resurrected and live a good life. If you do not behave, you go to hell. That's what it says over here. Anybody, do not listen, do not behave. God will put them in hell to suffer forever. They cannot die. God will not let them die. They wish they can die. But the scripture said they never die. They either live in the lake of fire, that's hell, or they live in heaven forever. Both days, both places are forever. That's the end of all the soul and body. Okay, but here we have one scripture. John chapter 5, 28 and 29. All those who are in the tomb can hear the voice of the Lord and come out. Those who have done good go to live. Those who have done evil go to hell. Now, here is the funny part. The dead man come out. You see, the dead man came out from his tomb. I don't think anybody listen to any college, any university, have this kind of speech. The dead man come up. If you lecture in Harvard University, you have 300 students down there. You say, the dead man come up, everybody will laugh at you. <laughs> what kind of professor is crazy today? Okay. But the scripture said, the dead man come up. What's that mean? Dead men cannot come out. Okay? Only living men can come out. And Jesus said, Take me away the stone. Here is a story, okay? Let me remind you of that little story. Lazarus, Mary, <coughs> okay? They were a Martha. They were good friends of Jesus. Jesus visited them. Many times. When Jesus was far away somewhere else, and the news reported to him, Hey, Jesus, your good friend Lazarus was sick. He was very sick. Jesus said, No. And then <coughs> Jesus said, uh, he, he, he said he, he will continue to work, but he will not go to visit him. Then later they told him, Hey, Jesus, your friend is dead. He just flatly said, No. He's not dead. My friend Lazarus is not dead. You don't worry. But let's go to see him now. Actually, after he was dead four days, he went to visit them. And then when he saw all his relatives, his kinsmen, all crying bitterly, then the scripture said, verse, uh, chapter 11, verse 31, John chapter 11, verse 31, Jesus weeped also. Jesus wept also. Okay? And many people think the Jews at that time said, you see, he cried. He cried for Lazarus. No, they're wrong. All of them are wrong. They don't understand. Jesus never cried for Lazarus. 
because to, because to Jesus, Lazarus never died. He was not dead. To Jesus, he was alive. And why fight for him? Okay? Those who think he was dead four, four days already, his body is decaying, those people cry. But Jesus cannot cry for, for Lazarus because Lazarus to him is not dead. <clears throat> Jesus always cry for those who see him, watch him, perform all these human cannot do things. Especially this day, Jesus is going to perform a miracle, the biggest one. Okay? The best one. And he knew all these people, they may see with their eyes, but they will not believe. They will still not believe. And they will still go to hell. He cried for that. Okay? Please listen and wait up very carefully. Jesus do not cry for Lazarus' death. Jesus cried for these people. He will resurrect. He will give them a life Lazarus. But they will still not believe that he is a Christ. Oh, so Jesus went to the tomb when many people cried. <clears throat> and he said, take away the stone. Martha said, Martha, the sister of him, that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time the body decayed. Bad odors. Come out. If you remove the stone, bad odors come out. <clears throat> and Jesus explained to them, and he said uh, he was dead for four days. He cried with a loud voice. Lazarus, come out! What happened? The dead man come out. Okay? So to Jesus, he is not dead. The dead man come out. The live man come out. Not dead. He that was dead came forth, bowed hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bowed about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Lose him and let him go. See, Jesus, to him, Jesus, uh, Lazarus is not dead. He can just say, Lazarus, come out! And the dead man come out. Okay, why Jesus could wait to cry for him? No, he just never cried for anyone who is dead, okay? Uh, <clears throat> Many body or not, that's another one. It's in Matthew 27, 50 to 53. Matthew 27, 15, 23. Many bodies care of the saint raised enter into the holy city. Many bodies of the saint. Of the saint, they mean to save the people. They are bodily resurrected with a body and walk into Jerusalem. Okay? I think it does not more, we don't have more information. But according to my assessment, I think they're going there to witness that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the Living God. And they show them, you see, this Jesus can make us who, are, who were dead long time ago, but we are alive because of Him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit at the time when he was on the, on the cross about to die. You see that? He yielded up his spirit. According to James, James chapter 2, verse 26, the body without the spirit is dead. So here he say he yielded up his spirit. That means he's dead. Okay? After he cried in a loud voice and he was his body was dead. But we know later he came up alive with a <coughs> with a, e, e, an eternal body, glorified body. And behold the veil of the temple was rent into two, broke down, okay, into two. The, the, from the top to the bottom, and the earth 
we, uh, have an earthquake and a rock will rent. And the tomb will open. You see, tombs open. And many bodies of the saints that had fallen asleep and been dead buried were raised. You see, but the Chinese, I don't know why they should be, should be the other way. This door should be highly low. Yao Hong Do, okay? Uh, it, because in the, in the English, many bodies, okay? The saved people, many of them, rise up with a body and were able to walk into Jerusalem. And coming forth out of the tomb after his resurrection, they entered the holy, city, holy city and appeared unto many people can see him, okay? With a physical body, but a body that you can see, okay? Now, people like to ask, how about the cremated? Okay? The cremated does not in the tomb. They were not in the tomb. They cremated, they vaporized. As I can assess is these people see God right there. Okay? It's horrible because it says in a hand fall into the hand of God is a terrible thing. Uh, so the cremated maybe see God sooner. Or go to hell sooner. Or go to heaven sooner. Whatever happened. But uh, according to human created movie picture, movie picture, they were able to do something and then and then form become a human. Okay? People in movie picture able to make that. Okay, something of something suck from the air and then become a human. Okay? So if God wants to, God can do that also. All this cremated body will come together and become a body. Okay? It's still possible. <coughs> and he and the devil who deceived them was thrown in the lake of fire, burning sulfur where the beast and the fourth prophet had been thrown. Okay? Here is the devil, Satan itself, thrown into hell, the lake of fire. is Revelation 12, 20, verse 10. Easy to remember. And this one, see what happened. They will be tormented day and night forever and ever. So here we can see what is die in Shimi. What is appointed to die once and have just my mean? What is all this die, 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 death, death? What's that mean? It means for the sacred people living forever in heaven. For the unsaved people, meaning living forever in hell. That's what they do. They never die. They either end up in heaven with God forever, or they end up with Satan in hell forever. Nobody die. They are going to live forever, forever living. God will not let any of them die. Even if they want to die, they cannot die. That's what dead die mean. For the saved people, they will be living in heaven forever. For the unsaved people, they will always live in hell, the lake of fire, forever and ever. Okay? That's what that means. I hope that I have made it clear to everybody now. Because he said, tormenting day and night, forever and ever. The scripture said that. The evil people, the unsaved people, will be with Satan in a lake of fire forever. They cannot die. They, will, they like it or they not like it, they will have to live to suffer forever and ever with Satan.
Now, here is another scripture. It is very clear. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and dead and this a place, okay? The called death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them. So here we have three places, not just in the tomb, not just in Hades, uh, in Hades over here, it's also in the sea, in a place called death. Okay? They are actually, they are not dead. This word, D-E-A-D, dead or D-I-E, die, is only human expression. Human expression. But literally, no one died. You are saved or you are unsaved, you are good or you are evil or you are in between, whatever. You are all left forever. The difference is, the same live in heaven forever. The unsaved live in hell forever. Now, here's the point right here. Each, just according to what he had done. I'm convinced. I don't know about you. I think everyone in the world will have to agree. They have no other choice. They have to agree. Anyone have to be just this way. They will all go to hell. I don't care who they are. If humans need to be just according to what they had done, uh, as I say all this year, I'm very thankful to God. On the judgment day, I did this quite a few times now. On the judgment day, you don't get this. You get this small one. Because this one, small one, this one, bigger one, but the small one had a lot more. This one has 64 gig. This one only has 32. This one is double. At a judgment day, each one will go to a place and the angel will give you this in your life. All everything recorded. From the time you come out from your mother's womb, from the time you come out from the mother's womb, to the time you were buried in the tomb, you watch your own life, what you have done all here. Now we can explain this way. Everybody understand. Cindy, you understand, right? Or what, whatever you think about, whatever you say, even what you think, is all recorded. Okay, everyone, judgment day, there's no courtroom. There's no judge needed. There's no lawyer needed. Everyone pick up one of these and they sit there, heaven or hell. Okay, you see in the middle. Now you watch until you will not watch over 10 years old. You will drop yourself into hell. I guarantee you. Before you, the 10 year old birthday, you will say to yourself, you deserve to be in hell with the devil. Okay? That's how you're going to be judged. That's why Jesus had to come to die on the cross to set up a church of Christ so you can stay, you can be living and believing and in Christ. You are saved that way. That's Hebrew chapter 10, 1920. A new and living way through the curtain, his body, the church of Christ. Am I making it clear? Hey, Joyce, am I making it clear? So you want to believe in the living and believing and in the church of Christ. You go to heaven. You don't judge according to what you have done. You judge according to whether you are in Christ or you are not in Christ. If you are in Christ, you are in God also, already. You know where the scripture? 
Colossians chapter 3 verse 3. Okay? And Galatians chapter 3 27. These two verses together. Galatians chapter 3 27. And Colossians chapter 3 verse 3. The day you are baptized and still stay faithful unto death before the time that you will, your body is buried in tomb, you die in the Lord. You die as a member of the Church of Christ. You will forever live with God in heaven. That's what the scripture says. You are not just according this way. Anyone have to be just according this way, they will all go to hell. I guarantee you. And I hope, I wish, anyone can come to argue with me on this one. Of course, I have hope one person, at least 40 years ago, when I first came to New York City, Someone called me on the phone, and he told me he had been baptized 40 years. He never commit one sin. In 40 years after his baptism, he never commit one sin. Hey, Vincent, how many years have you been baptized? 25. <laughs> Whatever. Have you commit one little mistake? We all have. Okay, what happened to those? First John chapter 1 verse 9. Confess to God. God will wipe up all your iniquity. We will not be judged according to what we have done. We are saved and live forever in heaven because we are in Christ. Not because we are perfect. <clears throat> and here, then the dead Haiti were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. You're another one. You're first death. You're second death. What does that mean? Now, one, one more time. Last time, okay? What does that mean? D A T H. What does that mean? If you are saved, you are forever living with God. That's what that means. If you are not saved, you are forever living with Satan in the lake of fire. That's what that means. Understand that? Now? Does it make sense? If it does not make sense, I don't know what to say. Okay? That's the best I can do. Many wish so much they died. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star from heaven fall into the earth. And there was given to him the key to the pit of the abyss. And he opened the pit of the abyss. And there went up a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And out of the smoke came forth locusts, strange, very strange locusts, upon the earth. And power was given them as the scorpions of the earth have the power. And it was said unto them that they should not hurt any visible any grass and on earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree. Loka is supposed to have all these things. But this loka is ab abnormal. Flip over, okay? Only such men as have not the seal of God on their forehead. You know what that means? They set their forehead. In here somewhere. You know what that means? What I can think of, the time when you are baptized, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13, it's a shield, that's a shield, okay? That's the Holy Spirit, is a shield. This is a shield, okay? Those who are in the church of Christ, those who have the shield of the Holy Spirit, go to heaven. <coughs> uh, this locust will not hurt them. <laughs> and it was given them that they should not kill them. You see, the unsaved people is horrible here. 
But that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when it struck a man. I wish I would never try to say to taste it. What does it mean? Somehow we say scorpion sting is so bad. Anybody ever sting by a scorpion? Okay, don't try. We don't need to know. But that's what the scripture said. It's bad. And in those days, men shall see that. You see, men see that. And that shall in no wise find it. And they shall desire to die. And that free from them. They cannot die. As I always say, God will not let them die. They either go to heaven or go to hell. Nobody can die. Over here, if the scripture is very, very clear. Once we are living on earth, it's too late to regret. The best way is not to come to the earth. Once you come to the earth, you never die. And even if you want to, you cannot die. God will not let you. You either live with God or you live with the devil. Both sides is forever living. Am I making it clear, Gordon? Both sides is ever, ever living, always living. Even if you die, God will not let you. Now, conclusion now. <clears throat> the dead in Christ shall rise first. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel and with the tramp of, the, of God and the dead in Christ rise first. Then we are alive that are left shall together with them be caught up in the, in the crowd to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, watch it very carefully. And, shall, and so shall we ever be with him forever. You see? We will rise up. Jesus will not come down to earth. The same rise up to meet him. And will with him forever. There's no kingdom on earth. Okay? When Jesus came back, there's no kingdom on earth. All the same rise up. All the unsaved go to hell. And the heaven and the earth is all wiped out. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So one day, when if our body <coughs> cease to live, remember, we never die. We either live forever with God or forever with Satan. And our purpose of being here is wishing all of us, including every little child, one day we are forever living with God in heaven. May the Lord bless each one of you.